Over on the college baseball diamond, Quincy University was back at QU Stadium looking to get back in the win column as they took on Rockers. Kobe Essien on the mound for the Hawks today, and he put on a show. Let's pick up in the second inning, scoreless at zero. Essien with a nice off-speed pitch to retire the side. Bottom four now, Austin Simpson up to bat with a rip through the right side of the infield. He'd make his way safely to first base and bring home a run to give the Hawks the early 1-0 lead. QU was feeling themselves looking to tack on a few more. Brock Boyton up to bat next, looking to keep the rally alive. He sends this ball packing to opposite field and notches the single. Hawks weren't able to bring him home and weren't able to get anything going the rest of the way. They lose this one 5-1 to one and would fall in game two, 11 to 7. Up in Macomb, the Leathernecks rocking their new home white unis thanks to the Hall of Fame 1974 team. Let's get right into a top four. This one's belted by UT Martin and looks like it'll leave the yard, but Max Slavin says, I don't think so. What a play by the left fielder to rob that one. This inning was quite a roller coaster for the Leathernecks. Base hit right through here gives UT Martin some cushion as they bring home another run. And then with two outs, this ball is belted into the outfield and it's Slavens once more. This time showing off the rocket as he guns down the runner at home and they'll retire the side. The next feeling, so, feeling themselves after that one. WA's turn now, freshman Trevor Leon sends this pitch by the second baseman. He'd reach first safely and load the bases and they were able to bring in a run home off the walk in the next at bat. Leathernecks would storm back and win this one versus UT Martin, seven to six in other college baseball action. William Penn defeats Culver Stockton in two games, 3-0 in the first one, and then 2-0 in the second. 